Hey there, I'm just gonna go out and say it. I think that Path of Exile is more fun now than it's ever been. This is the best version of the game that we've had for players like me. Now that's not to say it's perfect, it's not. Far from it, really, but man. Every time I'm at home and I have a few minutes to spare, I can't stop myself from logging on and checking the map in the map device just because it's fun and more effortless than ever. My name is Shwingy, let's get into it. I just want to say something really quick to any new players. If you've never played Path of Exile and are kind of interested, right now is a great time to try it out. Sweet. I've put in some 100 to 150 hours into the recent league and I just want to take a couple minutes to talk about the state of the game just to share these thoughts I've had and my excitement for the game with you guys. And I'm not actually talking about the new league Arc Nemesis stuff. In fact, I don't think Arc Nemesis is particularly good or bad. I'm pretty neutral towards it and for the most part, pretend it doesn't really exist. What's got me excited to play Path every day is the new Siege of the Atlas stuff. The new bosses, new Atlas passives, constantly having juicy maps once you reach and can sustain tier 14 content, which is easier than ever. The fact that so many builds are actually good and fun to play, yeah, it's been fun. As previous viewers will know, I started the league off as a fireball elementalist and it was perfectly good enough to get me through the end game progression to the highest tier of maps. I eventually respect into Jungrone's double cast on crit necromancer build from last league, but more on that in another video if there's any interest. A huge part of the fun of that early progression was unlocking all these atlas points in the new atlas skill tree. Every new map I completed unlocks one point and every point makes a difference. This carrot on a stick style of rewarding me was all the motivation I needed to make me actually feel good about seeking out incomplete maps. At this point, I've unlocked the large majority of them and I'm just missing a few unique map completions that I don't really care enough to go out and buy. The atlas tree system itself is also to be commended. Being able to pick and choose Choose what kind of content you want to focus on has been something that only the top top players realistically got to do regularly in previous leagues. Nowadays, anyone can choose to focus on whatever they want so long as they've made it far enough into the map tiers to unlock enough points for it. Speaking of tiers, with the new Exarch and Eater of Worlds influences, tier 14 and above maps are absolutely packed with monsters. It's plain old fun. For me, nothing in the game feels as good as zooming through a map and blowing up giant packs of monsters on the way to the bosses. That's what PoE is all about. And not only are the extra monsters welcome, they also drop scarabs all over the place. Like what? That's amazing. I haven't had to trade for scarabs a single time this league, and I've used hundreds of them. I'd use up whatever I had for whichever league mechanic I wanted to focus on, and then when I ran out, I'd swap to using a different scarab and come back to it when my slot had replenished eventually. This could take days or even up to a week depending on how much I play, but that didn't matter because as they say, variety is the spice of life. I've messed around with my atlas tree at least 5 times at this point. Orbs of Unmaking are cheaper than ever and make tailoring the tree to my preferences super easy. Just this morning I swapped out of my boss rushing tree to give Harbingers and Abyss Nodes a try since I've built up a stockpile of their scarabs at this point. I've had trees that focus on shrines, strong boxes, essences, alva temples, breaches, and beyond, and I can say that nothing has really disappointed me, which is awesome. The new bosses introduced this league are also a welcome addition to the game. The first time you encounter them, they present a good challenge, unless maybe you're playing something super OP, and future fights with them are at the very least fun, if not super rewarding. With the exception of the infinite hunger. That guy can go F himself. Unlike the other fights, there's literally nothing fun about fighting him. I don't know what the hell GG was thinking. And you're supposed to look at this barely noticeable dirty mucky water stream effect to find out where to go, and when you get there you have a high chance of dying? Yeah, no thanks. The rest of the fights are great though. Fun mechanics and with the forbidden jewels, the big boys have potential to drop something very valuable. All in all, I'm having a ton of fun playing the game right now. And that's one of the reasons I've been procrastinating on making other videos for you guys. Of course, this has been my opinion, so you can feel free to disagree and let me know why down below. Thank you for listening to my TED talk, and if you haven't watched it already, you should check out this beginner's guide I made, even if you're not a beginner, because it's just a good time. See you guys in the next one.